Welcome to the shop, YouTube. We're talking about log splitters today. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Rugged Made 28 ton with the 30 inch stroke. I'm going to show you some of the things I like and some of the things I don't like. So let's get to it. So just to get started, like I mentioned, this is the Rugged Split, Rugged Made 28 ton with the Raven 15 horsepower engine. I'd like to start out with some of the features and options on this splitter that I really like. First of all, all of us who have looked into the Rugged Made know that we would prefer the Honda. But as the, if you looked into that and contacted the company, you know they're on back order, which was what the same result that I had when I checked into it. Well, I'm here to tell you that the Raven 15 horse is actually a really good engine. It runs and starts really good. All of the Ravens come with this key. Uh, that's not an option, which gives you the uh, capability for a battery electric start. But this is also just your kill switch. Like on a Honda, you have the little flip switch, like back here. Okay? And so, you just use the key, flip it on, turn the gas on, choke it, It runs and starts great. It actually sounds a lot like a Honda. One of the reviews that I watched before I purchased this, a gentleman said that one thing that was interesting with the Raven is no matter how long you had been using the machine, if it was hot, you always had to choke it when you went to restart it. And I thought, oh, that's hokey. I don't know if I believe that, but he was actually right. Every time you go to restart this, you have to use a choke. I've started it before without the choke, but you gotta keep pulling it, pulling it, and if you just choke it, it fires right up. But not a big deal. But I absolutely love the, um, the speed of the RAM. That would be item number two that I really like about this. Super fast, super powerful RAM. Um, the other obvious thing is the log lifter, which was what I really wanted in an upgraded log splitter. This log lifter is very strong. I put big 24 inch rounds on it. Um, in fact, you, is it, you, this will lift whatever you put on it. I've had it just stacked up this high with logs and it lifts it no problem. So super happy with that. Along with the um, V style support leg that it comes with. Just drop that down. And that's really, really nice. It does a great job of supporting side-to-side -side motion when you're going to lift large log rounds on the lifter. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love it. The last thing, obviously, is the price. When I went to buy this, I did some online research, and we all know that the Easton made, uh, the Timberwolf, um, Woodsman, uh, there's a few others, super high quality, made in the USA commercial splitters, and they're awesome. But they're also ten, twelve thousand dollars $12,000. That's hard to justify for people like myself that harvest and split wood for yourself and just sell a little bit on the side, which is what we do. But in that four to 5000 range, that's much more uh, achievable um, and and make sense a little better. So the price range definitely is worthwhile when you consider all the features that it comes with. Now a couple of things that I don't like about the Rugged Maid. The very first thing is this main tongue shaft that comes out is too high if you wanna connect this to your ATV or UTV. So I had a fabricator friend of mine miter cut this original shaft and put a drop down essentially he dropped this point four inches lower and six inches further out as well as installing a, a mount plate for a jack leg it totally needs a jack leg this machine is really heavy when you consider the configuration of having the axle located at the very back like it does with the axle all the way to the back, 
it definitely makes this tongue quite heavy. And so by putting this drop down on, which brings me to the next um, modification that I did. If you'll notice on this cradle, I love this cradle, it works great. What's supporting this cradle? Just these two pins and this little um, angle iron right here, supporting that whole thing. And when you're splitting a big round and have the half of it, you know, you kind of swing around to set it onto that, there's quite a bit of weight that bangs down on that. So what I did is I had him weld this uh, plate right here with these two drop down supports which support the front of this. So now it's not supported just by those. It has this additional support. And so you just throw it on there like this and it works. It works great. So you have this front pin now that slides in. Okay, and now look at how nice this is. When you split a large log and half of it is still right there, the other half can sit on this and it's way stronger. So I highly recommend doing something like this and also with bringing this out further before this latch was clear up here and the end of the ball mount was right here and there was just no way to connect it to a trailer. We weren't able to lift that up plus it was just too high. Plus it didn't have a jack leg. So I highly recommend redoing this in similar fashion whenever it works for you but uh, it made for a much more strong and usable tongue assembly. The last thing I wanted to talk about, the most important thing, is if you order the Rugged Made, when it comes, I highly recommend putting this log lift on the opposite side of the machine as the motor, as the engine. The problem is, when you have a helper, what would happen is I would be standing right there, this log lifter, originally we had installed it on this side, okay, which is kind of what it shows in most of the diagrams. Well, the problem is the operator standing here, the helper is over here rolling logs and, and working down like this and rolling logs and stacking logs, which in my case was my wife. Well, the problem was this big 15 horse engine pumps out a lot of exhaust and you wouldn't think it would be a problem, but two times as she was out helping me, she started to get carbon monoxide poisoning because her head was down here and working in this area and this thing really pumps out the exhaust. For that reason, I think it's much better to have a log lift over there. Now the operator stands right here and as you notice, the exhaust is coming out behind me in that area. And when you're running this thing, you're right up here operating the valves. And so the exhaust is not an issue and now the helper is on this side. So for that reason, mount your lift on the opposite side of the engine. The other thing I highly recommend is not installing this. So you can see on my finger, I got a nice pinch the other day because this, this log cradle support is right here and I, I had a smaller piece in my hand like this and I was just kind of holding it trying to get it to where I wanted it and I was watching the log. Well, as soon as it started to split, the piece widened and pinched my hand against this. This thing just kind of creates some pinch points with this ram going through. So just don't install that. I, I see the concept is good, but functionality, in my opinion, is better without it. Because now you have your shafts on, you're right here working, and that thing's just out of your way. So that's another thing that I would highly recommend. And last point, I've had some trouble with this valve. When you go to return it, which I love the short stopper feature that Rugged Maid offers, it's really nice. And we have that set on the 20 inch, the shortest stroke, which speeds up your cylinder 
um, cycle time uh, quite a bit. The problem is after the machine gets hot, and it does get hot because there's a lot of speed and pressure with all of what's going on, when you go to return it, it hits that stopper and this handle only kicks off halfway. And every time you have to reach up and, and tap it off. When it's cold, it works great, but as it gets hot, it constantly will only kick off halfway and it's still trying to, trying to pull. And so that's something I need to get addressed either with a, a, a Prince model valve or maybe having the manufacturer send me a new one and try it. Um, the, th the last thing I love about the machine is the speed of the cylinder is amazing. It's more than twice as fast as my little Northern Hydraulic. I've had this little splitter for over 20 years. It's been a wonderful machine for our family. Um, and I guess I'll just keep it around for backup. But uh, the Rugged Maid is more than twice as fast. We go through a quarter of wood. It's amazing how fast this thing pumps it out. So there's a few of my suggestions. Hopefully it'll help some of you. If you're thinking about buying one, I highly recommend the tongue modification. Move that ball mount out, six inches out, four inches down. Do some of those things. Uh, put, install the jack leg and you'll have a wonderful machine. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a great day.